All right, I'm going to show you how you can easily reflect a point across a given line of reflection and show your perpendicular line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my line of reflection here for number one. And I'm going to identify my slope. So in order to do that, i got to isolate a couple points here. I go down two, over one, two, three, four. So the slope of this line here is negative two over four. Now, in order to get to my reflection point, I need a perpendicular line, which means I need a slope that's the opposite reciprocal. So I'm going to flip this, and I'm going to make it positive. So now I get 4 over 2. Now, so I'm going to go from this point A. Now, I can't necessarily go up, but what I can do is I can go down 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 2, 1, 2. And I'm going to do that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1, 2. And I got my reflection point. I'm going to call that A1. And I can even draw a nice perpendicular line out of that. So it's that simple. You just find the slope of the line, go with the opposite reciprocal, and then go from your point using that opposite reciprocal. So let's try this again. Now, with this line, we have a slope of, let's see... 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1, 2, 3. So I get a slope of 4 over 3. So now I want the opposite reciprocal, which means I'm going to flip this thing over, 3 over 4, I'm going to make it negative, negative 3 over 4. So I'm going to go to my po point here, B, and I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, over 1, 2, 3, 4, that gets me right to my line. I'm going to do it one more time. One, two, three, over one, two, three, four. And I get to my reflection point. I'm done. I don't have to plug in any formulas. I don't have to do anything crazy. It's just a matter of finding the opposite reciprocal of my slope. Number three, let's do this one quick. Blasting through. Now for a slope of this line, I go down 1, 2, 3, 4. I go over 1. So the slope of this line here is negative 4 over 1. So now I need the opposite reciprocal. I'm going to flip this thing over. 1 over positive 4. So I'm going to go with a C here now. I'm going to go over 1. Then go over 1, 2, 3, 4. Gets me here. I'm going to do it one more time. 1. One, two, three, four, and I get my reflection point. Just like so, and I can make my perpendicular line. See how quick you can do it once you get the hang of it? It's nice and easy. We're going to do another one. What the heck? Let's try one more, and hopefully you're doing this right along with me. So let's take a look at our line. All right. Now the slope of this is going to be... I just got isolate two points, find my slope. Two over three. Okay, now I want the opposite reciprocal of that. So that means I'm going to flip it over. This is positive, I'm going to make it negative. I get negative three over two. So that means I'm going to go to D, and I go down three over two, gets me over here. But if I go one, two, up three, still a negative slope, and it gets me in my line of reflection. I'm going to do that one more time. One, two, three, over one, two. And ta-da, done. Get my perpendicular line. So if you notice, I didn't have to use any calculations. All I had to do is find the slope of my line of reflection, go from the point that I'm going to be reflecting, and then use the opposite reciprocal to get me to my new point. Hopefully this helps, and I'd say try a few more examples like this. See how you do with it.